What's going on everyone? It's Abdallah here, back again with another awesome Animal Crossing New Horizons tips and tricks tutorial video. Today's video is showcasing 38 items that are announced and revealed in the brand new January update. So if you guys haven't already watched the trailer, make sure you guys do so. But not only does the trailer give us a small handful of items, there's a lot more items that the trailer didn't show us. And we've got all the information for you right over here. Thanks so much for watching. Now, if you didn't already hit that subscribe button, please do so. It only takes one quick second and we are on our way to 1 million subscribers. Very, very close to 900K. Let's do it. Anyway, we've got tons of content for you for Festival and Pave and everything like that. So make sure if you guys didn't already see the January update video, it's right up that way. And uh, we went over the trailer and we went over our first impressions of it. But today's video is going to showcase 38 items that you may have missed. Now, other than that, Valentine's Day is coming right around the corner. So click right over here to buy new merch on the website and you'll be able to see all of our very awesome brand new Valentine's Day designs. Look at this cute trophy cat holding a crystal heart. Oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. Now, speaking of being in love with it, make sure that you guys get that. Use the coupon code NEWYEAR10 at checkout to save 10% off. And make sure you give this to your loved one for Valentine's Day. If you get it right now, you'll be able to ship it by that time. So make it happen. All right, here we are at the trailer, ladies and gents. Let's jump through this. We're gonna deep dive into it and we're gonna go into some different sources to show you guys the remaining items. Now, all of the names that we're gonna come out with over here are tentative names. They can be changed. This is just based off of what I feel that they are in the game. So. Let's get started, shall we? All right, the trailer is only a minute long, but it's filled with tons and tons of information. So the very first thing that we're gonna show you guys uh, right over here is the Festival floor lamps. Now, you'll be able to see that they look like uh, a lot of different like feathers that come out of here. It's a cool looking floor lamp. We'll get a little bit better of a picture of that a little later in the trailer. All right, the next thing that we do wanna show you is that there is going to be a Festival jacket. So right up above my head over here, uh, you'll be able to see this, uh, this bear animal wearing a little jacket in pink. All right, next over, you'll be able to see Marina wearing a Festival dress in pink. And right over here on top of that, you'll be able to see Marina wearing a headdress also in pink. So that's great. You'll be able to see that a lot of the characters have exactly this, the outfit, the headdress, and possibly a jacket that goes with. All right, so moving on, the little squirrel over here has the exact same colorations. And then we'll see this, uh, this big horse animal that has the Festival headdress in blue. And you'll be also able to see that the horse is wearing an actual Festival dress which looks really awesome in blue, honestly. All right, one of the other things in this little frame is Pave himself. Now, Pave can potentially give us his whole little setup over here. I don't know if you can see that, but his setup consists of like a little arch, it consists of a little confetti cannon, and it has like a little rug with a spotlight on it. I honestly think that at the end of the day, once you get everything, Pave might be able to give us this specific item. So I'm gonna include it into our list over here. So moving on, uh, those are the items that are over that way. Uh, right over here, you'll be able to see uh, this, uh, this cat with the helmet wearing two new pieces of uh, clothing, which is going to be the Festival jacket. You'll be able to see that it's got a little bit of a horizontal striped shirt on the inside, and then the Festival headpiece or the headdress in orange. So that's great, love seeing that. So that kind of confirms that coloration. You'll see, before we get into that, Marina is actually wearing a Festival dress in orange. So that looks really great. We'll add that to the list. We'll also see the Festival dress in green from the little squirrel over here and the headdress in green. So yeah, looking really good. So what we want to show you is that a lot of the items, the, uh, the clothing items are going to be exactly that. It's going to be a dress, it'll be the jacket, and then it'll also be the headdress. So three different kinds of clothing items in various colors, such as blue, pink, orange, and green. That's what we've seen so far. So anyway, keep it on. Uh, right over here is interesting because there is some sort of uh, umbrella festival lamp. Um, it looks interesting. We'll see this a little bit more as we move on, but of course we gotta label that as a brand new item for sure. Um, right over here, uh, what do we see? What do we see? Moving on. Uh, yeah, really nothing. It's more of the same stuff. 
Uh, this panda bear little animal over here is showcasing that the jacket, uh, the jacket is going to be available in green as we were kind of talking about. So add that to the list. And of course we're, gra we're grabbing the feather. All right, uh, giving him the feathers and he does a little dance and we do some work. So yeah, it's easy stuff. Pave must dance. And we've seen pretty much everything in the plaza area. So all the different variations of jackets, headdresses, and dresses we will be all set with. All right, one of the things that we haven't seen was uh, right over here is the blue jacket, the festival jacket. And that's exactly what the boy at the very end is wearing. So you can see over here that with the jacket outfit, that's not the dress, it does come with pants. Now, one side of the, the coin could be, hey, you know, those are separate pants. But I'm on the side where I'm thinking it's a full on costume because when we did the holiday or the Halloween uh, little breakdown of this, I said that there was like a zombie shirt and a zombie pant, right? When in fact, after it came out, it was a full on costume. So I'm going on the costume route, so I'm leaving that the way it is. I'm not inflating the numbers here. I'm believing that that's gonna be a straight costume. Cool, right? Um, the shoes and everything like that are already things that exist, but we have to unpack this screen right over here. This screen is gigantic because it reveals a lot of things that are happening. Now, let's start from the very beginning. Uh, right up above me over here on my head is the Festival stall or the Pave stall. I don't know what they're gonna call it, but it's a stall over here and uh, it's got the little coconut drink. That'd be really cool to have in your island. It looks great. Like I'm, I'm done with the shop stalls. Like I want something new. So that's really good. Uh, next up is going to be the lighted balloon. As you can see, the balloon is all the way up. It is lighted and it looks spectacular in the green coloration. Uh, next is going to be the festival banner. We've seen this a little bit. It's just, uh, it kind of looks like a marketplace banner a little and you can see that it is customized in the green coloration. Uh, next up is going to be a little confetti cannon. As I zoom in right over here, the confetti cannon is right next to the guy in blue. Uh, it looks like a little uh, like a little motor and it's just shooting confetti out. So that looks awesome. Now, other than that, this one's actually a big thing. This one's big because uh, if you're looking at the feet of this lady over here, you'll also notice a little rug. And if this is a rug item, that means that that's going to give us the ability to throw rugs outdoors. And that's not something that we've ever been able to do in the world of Animal Crossing. That opens up a huge, huge customization option that a lot of us have been asking for. I mean, you could put it in your house. Why can't you put it in your, uh, in the outside, right? Anyway, so I'm not sure if that's going to be an outdoor rug or if it's just going to be an item that you throw on the ground and it looks like a rug, right? I don't know if they're gonna do a quality of life update and I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Other than that, if you take a look at the back, there's going to be these lighted partitions, uh, the little uh, like triangle little pieces. Now it's not gonna be any kind of fencing because as you can see, the colorations are the only, or not the only two, but the two revealed colorations that you're able to customize these items with. They can either be the red and yellow or they could be the green and yellow. And you can see that there's two red and yellow ones and one green and yellow and they're staggered. It looks like they take a half of a space. So uh, they're staggered right behind each other in a way that it looks pretty awesome. So uh, we're gonna call that the lighted partition. All right. Other than that, if you take a look uh, right behind the girl over here and the guy, you'll be able to see a festival drum. And that is it for the 22 items inside the actual trailer. But of course, we told you at the beginning that we have 38. Where are the rest of the other ones, right? Well, I looked at the trailer, I didn't see anything else. Don't worry, I've got you covered. So here we go. Uh, so other than taking a look at our merch, we've got tons of fun stuff. Okay. So we have to come over here to the Animal Crossing uh, Japanese site uh, for nintendo.co.jp. And that'll be linked in the description if you guys wanna go take a look at it. But nonetheless, there's going to be a lot of different things over here that they announced for us that we didn't get inside the English site or the other, uh, the trailer that we got. So we'll see over here, seasonal items are in stock. So if you take a look at this screen over here, it's going to reveal three brand new items. The first one is going to be the Oni costume in red. So the Oni costume is red. Uh, it's got like some sort of interesting like underwear, but it's like a full on red costume. So it looks really, really interesting. And likewise, there's going to be an Oni costume in blue. 
and this is going to uh, signify, you know, an event in Japan where they take these uh, these beans, which is going to be the Mame Make set. The Mame Make set, and then you throw the beans. If you guys remember in Animal Crossing uh, New Leaf, there was a bean item where you just like threw the beans at them. And the cultural significance of that is, you know, cleansing away the evil spirits by throwing beans at them. So that's why these people are throwing beans at these uh, demon creatures called Oni. Uh, so that's really interesting. So there's your three new items there. The uh, Mame Maki set, you can see over here, it's perfect for uh, Setsubun. Uh, and you can order it at Tanuki Shopping until February 3rd. So I'll give you guys all that information when it comes. But all of that is here. Look forward to it in Nook Shopping. All right. Uh, now, it was also teased in some text that we were going to be getting some chocolates for Valentine's Day. So this is going to be one item that's available. It's called a heart chocolate. Now it's been revealed that these may come in additional colors every single day. So you want to go over and you want to check the Nook Shopping to see if there's going to be different colored chocolates. Now, other than that, our next item is going to be the heart rose bouquet. We'll be able to see that right over here. That's for number 27 on our list. That looks really great. And again, these might come in different colors. The colors are to be determined. Not really sure what's going on with that, but very excited. So this is going to be even more things that are going to be um, related to items in various parts of the world. If you click on this over here, this is pretty much showing, hey, this is for the Northern American continent uh, where we celebrate Groundhog's Day. So we're going to get a little Mr. Rossetti little toy or something that we can just kind of put over here and remember the best NPC character in all of existence for Animal Crossing. Those of you guys that just joined with Animal Crossing New Horizons, you may not know who he is. He's the guy that answers the call when you do like rescue services, but you never really see him. He's the best character and you'll absolutely love him. Anyway, um, so yeah, really, really awesome. That is going to be the Rossetti statue for Groundhog's Day. Very excited for that. Uh, number, what do we got over here? Number 29 on our list is going to be celebrating the Super Bowl or Big Game. Of course, Super Bowl, you don't really want to say that, but it's going to be called the Big Game. Um, so there's going to be, what, five items over here? Uh, the very first one is going to be the football rug. It's just a gigantic rug that looks exactly like the football that's actually in game right now. And then the next four items, number 30, is going to be the party horn. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be the flamed party horn. We can see that over here with this guy yelling into it. You'll be able to see the football design party horn. You'll see the, the stars design for party horn. And the last party horn on the side is going to be a glitter party horn. Now, let me get this straight with you guys. In Animal Crossing New Leaf, there was an option to have a megaphone where you can click into it and you can yell into the Nintendo 3DS and, and say someone's name. If you're looking for a villager, like, Bob, you would say Bob, and then Bob, a little speech bubble would appear on screen, and then he would actually say, I'm over here, who's calling? So you can know exactly where to go to find your villagers. We've been asking for this since day one. Uh, but some of you guys who have never played Animal Crossing New Leaf, you don't know about that. Are these items going to be dual megaphones where you can use it and like maybe open up a menu and say, who do you wanna call? I wanna call Raymond, Audie, you know, this person, Bob, Kabuki, right? And then they would call them. Are we gonna get something like that? I would say, no, don't get your hopes up. At least not yet. Maybe in 2021, later on, we'll get another quality of life update and an actual megaphone, but these are just party horns. So, eh, not so much. Anyway, let's move on. Number 34. Number 34, uh, in order to continue celebrating a Korean New Year, uh, we've got the Korean Bok Jumioni. Uh, of course, forgive my pronunciation on that, but it's a little uh, little luck bag, a little fortune pouch. And of course, uh, Japanese culture also does this as well with the Fukubukuro, uh, which is also another luck pouch that you would give to people as a gift for good luck. But of course, uh, I'm kind of thinking that it's more Korean based because you got the Nori right over here. And uh, yeah, that looks really nice. All right, so that's number 34. Uh, next up, for uh, to celebrate Chinese New Year, as you can see over here, we've got two brand new items. Uh, the very first one is going to be the Chinese Hongbao Red Envelope, which of course is also another gift item that people give uh, to many people in China. And then on the wall, if you didn't take a look at it, that Chinese wall decoration is called the Upside Down Fu. Uh, which is a uh, fu in Chinese means happiness and you hang it on the wall and you put it upside down so that uh, you can get even more happiness and prosperity in your life. It's, uh, it's really interesting if you look into the culture of it. So I'm very excited about that. And I love that they're just adding more cultural significant items into the game. All right, 
And then uh, we've got two more things. Deliver it. Thank you for the update. The next thing that we're going to get is a pair of maracas. So allow me to click on that. You'll be able to see maracas right over here. That is going to be pretty interesting. We've had maracas in Animal Crossing New Leaf, and you were able to shake them, and it was really great. So hey, why not? So that's number 37. And then last but not least on our list, as far as items goes, is going to be an item that you can purchase in the store called the Viva Festival Reaction Set. Now you'll be able to find this right over here in the Animal Crossing English What's New site. So we'll be all set. All right, anyway, right over here, it says new reactions. So uh, if you want to express your excitement for Festival, you'll now have a range of new reactions to choose from. The Viva Festival Reaction Set right over here can be purchased within the game from Bells from the shelf at Nook's Cranny for a limited time and includes Feeling It, Let's Go, Viva, and Confetti. So that is going to be one last tangible item that has been revealed in this entire set. So what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Are you excited as I am for a brand new update? I really hope that you are because I am so pumped for it. Now, uh, as I've shown you guys before, we are going to be going through the entire secrets and details, everything revealed once the update comes out. Of course, it's gonna be so much fun. So click right over here on upcoming live streams, get yourself a reminder for it, pay attention to the New Horizons Tips and Tricks Tutorials playlist so that you guys can be updated on the latest and greatest Animal Crossing on YouTube to date. Thanks for watching. Did I miss anything? Let me know in the comments. What do you think about all these things? Let me know, what is your favorite item out of the 38 items that we've actually shown you on screen over here? Personally, I can't wait for those beans, man. The Mame Meki set, oh my gosh, Mame Maki set. Mame Maki. Say that with me now. Mame Maki said. Beans! Beans! Yeah, so whenever someone comes into your town, you throw beans at them, and that signifies that they're a demon, and you're trying to get rid of them by throwing beans at them. I love it. Anyway, thanks so much for being here. You guys are great. Thanks for subscribing, and uh, thanks for turning on notifications so you know when we go live with all of our brand new science and findings for all that good stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.